Welcome back. I'm now joined by Tim Moore and Heidi Dragu, and they're here to talk about mosquitoes. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the studio today. You're very welcome. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So let's talk about, about traps and where mosquitoes are going to be found the most. Sure. So the Grand River Mosquito Control District has about 84 traps that we check every week. And so it goes from Palisade all the way to the other side of Fruta. And mm. we, we weekly have data about where the mosquito counts are. Right now, all the counts are very low across the valley. There were a few higher traps north of Fruta, but overall trap counts are pretty low right now. Okay. Okay, well, that's that's relatively good news, but I don't think it's going to stay that way all summer, right? right? right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about what West Nile virus is for people who may not know. So West Nile virus is a virus carried by certain types of mosquitoes that we have here in western Colorado and across the U.S. And um, the way that West Nile virus spreads is basically through their bite. So mm -hmm. we're all about trying to prevent the mosquito bites, just first of all, to prevent the spread of West Nile. Um, West Nile virus usually takes a couple of days um, for someone to start to show signs and symptoms. Only about one in five people who are infected will actually get sick with the infection. Okay. Um, and when I say sick, those symptoms are usually a fever, um, body aches, so kind of like a flu-like illness. Folks will generally recover in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. More rarely, or I would say just rarely in general, about one in 150 people will develop a more severe illness that will actually um, cause more of a neurologic illness where wow, they'll get a okay. really high fever, stiff neck, they might have a coma, paralysis, and that can certainly take a little bit longer for folks to recover, but that's very rare. Okay, yeah, you, it's good to mention that it's rare, but, but it has happened in Mesa County, right? Yeah, so we definitely get cases of West Nile virus reported. Last year in 2018, we had two human cases of West Nile virus, okay. both in adults. Mm -hmm. um, prior to that, our last human case was in 2015. Okay, now the weather affects the levels of mosquitoes that we get here in, the, in, the, in Western Colorado, right? It does. Um, you know, we had a wet spring with a lot of rain and the Colorado and Gunnison River drainage basins have very high snowpack levels and a lot of moisture in that snow. So those are two of the things that we look for uh, that would seem to indicate we're going to have a pretty active mosquito year with that moisture. The third thing that we need are warm days. Mm -hmm. And so when the temperature starts to get in the high 70s, low 80s, that's the third thing that will um, usually cause a lot of mosquitoes to start to fly. Okay, that, I mean, that makes sense. Now, let's talk about uh, prevention and symptoms. What are, what are people, well, you mentioned West Nile symptoms, but how can people best prevent getting mosquito bites? Fighting the bite. So, <laughs> number one is definitely using a mosquito repellent. We look for products that have active ingredients of either DEET, picaridin, IR3535, or oil of lemon eucalyptus, which is actually the natural okay. option for folks looking for an alternative. The other big thing you can do is reduce sources of standing water in and around your home. You know, get rid of that environment where mosquitoes will lay eggs and breed. The other big thing you can do is, you know, avoid being outside during those times when mosquitoes are most active. And with that, we're thinking dawn and dusk, so yeah. right at the beginning and the end of the day. Those are those big <laughs> parts where you just want to stay inside and yeah. don't, don't, don't. Uh, mingle with any of the mosquitoes, yeah? Well, thank you guys so much for co coming up by the studio today. I really appreciate it. Sure. Thanks for having us. Absolutely, yeah. and I hope everyone at home uh, uses all this information and stay, gets, what, what was the phrase you used about the bites? Oh, fight the bite. Fight the bite. Oh, fight the bite. That's it. <laughs> and we'll have all the information on how you can fight the bite on westernslopenow.com. <laughs>